to post a quick video here with an update to that D Hummer and DSer video that I posted on Thursday a few days ago. Received some comments that said, hey, why'd you show the D Hummer without a, without a sample clip in there? Okay, legit, that's valid. Uh, I agree with that. So I found a clip that has a hum in it, and I'm going to show you exactly how the D Hummer works there. So let's jump into Resolve and check that out real quick. All right, so here is our clip right here that's got the hum in it. I'm going to play through and loop it, and then I'm going to turn on the D Hummer and show you how it works here. So let's go ahead and play through the clip. So there's that low pitched hum that we're hearing. Go ahead and turn on the D Hummer. Notice we don't have a change just yet, but if I come here and try these different settings, seems like 50 hertz is not it. Let's try 60 hertz. And you can see there we've got a pretty good difference. And if you come over here, we have our amount cranked all the way up, but if we change the slope a little bit, you're gonna see that's gonna kind of take care of pretty much all of it here. So let's let it loop back to the beginning and listen. And your D hum's pretty much gone. Here it is off. And here it is on. All right, guys, so there you go. That's how the D Hummer works here. Sorry I didn't include it in the original video, but I hope this was helpful just for you to hear that difference there. And a lot of times, again, you're gonna get this because of some kind of electrical interference. Maybe it's a grounding problem with your cables or with your power strip, something like that. So that's how the D Hummer works. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.